Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play a video on a canvas in Unity WebGL. So, there's an eye up in the corner where I just teach you how to play a video in WebGL. However, what if you want to put that video on a canvas, a UI canvas? Well, I'm going to show you, and it's actually even simpler than just playing a video. So, in your assets folder, right click, click on create, click folder, call it streaming assets. This name is super important. And basically, for, Unity doesn't allow you to use video clips. And the only way you can play a video is via a URL. And we can put a video file in our streaming assets folder, get a URL for it because it's processed differently, then give that URL to a video player and it can then play a video for us. So go inside here, then drag and drop your video file into here. It won't import like other assets because it's in the streaming assets folder. Go back to your assets folder, right click and click on create and we're going to make a C sharp script. Call it vid player. Double click to open it in Visual Studio and you'll have something to work with. Our imports are going to be Unity Engine and Unity Engine.video. We can delete the update function and we're going to do serialized field string video file name. This is going to be the name of the video file that we want to play. And then we're going to do in our start function, we're going to do play video. And this is going to be a function to play the video. And we're going to make that in a second. So we're going to do public void play video. This is going to be a, be a play video function. No parameters are needed and no return value is needed. Then we're going to do video player. Video player equals get component video player. So we're going to be getting a video player component from the object this script is attached to. And then we're going to do if video player. So we're checking if we have a reference to a video player. If we don't, we don't want to bother trying to play the video because there's no video player. Make sure you get your curly brackets correct as well. Inside the if video player statement, we're going to do string video path equals system.io.path.combine application.streamingassetspath video file name. Then we're going to print the video file path to make debugging easier if you get an error relating to the file path. And then we do video player.url equals video path. And then we do video player.play. So we're going to be getting a complete file path for our video file. So obviously we have the video file name and then this is just going to get the streaming assets folder path and when we combine them it gives us the file path for the video we want to play. We print it out and then we do video player.url equals video path because in the inspector you can see you can give the video player a clip or you can give it a URL to play a video from and we're setting the URL to be our video path and then video player.play just plays it and that's it for the code. So, let's go to our video player, and we're going to add a component, and we're going to do video player. So, the source needs to be URL. We don't want to play on awake. We don't want to wait for the first frame. We are, however, going to loop it. We're going to leave the target texture for the moment. We're going to do fit horizontally. We're going to do direct. We're going to do track zero as tick, and volume will be set to one. Now let's drag the video player script onto here. Now go to your streaming assets folder and you can right click, you can click on a rename, you can then copy and paste your video file name, but to make sure you add on the file extension. So I'm using an NMP4 file, so obviously it'll be the name of the video, then .mp4. We have that set up. However, we need a texture and we need an image in our canvas. So. So go to your assets folder, then right click, click create, then go to render texture and let's call it vid texture. So we're going to set the size to 1280 by 720p and make sure the dimension is set to 2D. Cool, that's all we need to do here. Now in our canvas, we're going to right click, we're going to go to UI. Then we're going to go to raw image. So a raw image, we can drag and drop a texture onto it. But firstly, let's set the width and the height to be the same as our texture. So 720p. And then you drag your vid texture into the texture of the raw image. Cool. Now go to your vid player. 
and drag your vid texture into the target texture here. Amazing! Now save everything and hit play. As you can see, it played successfully. So, let's build it right in front of you to see it in the web browser. So we go to Build Settings. And then we're going to go to Build. It's going to give us a location. We're going to make a new folder. We're going to do UI Video WebGL. Then we're going to hit Select Folder. And you're going to see it build in front of you. After it's built, we can shift right click. Go to Open PowerShell window here. We can then do... PYMHTTP.server. There's an eye up in the corner if you want to know more about how you do this. But we can host the build locally. Go to your web browser and do localhost 8000. And look, we can see the video play on the canvas in Unity WebGL. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Unity tutorials. Thanks for watching.